how to not learn Korean, stupidly memorizing basic expressions. Korean is fundamentally different from Western languages, so basic expressions will often use very different wordings in the different languages, although communicating the same idea. For example, the Korean equivalent of nice to meet you, 만나서 반갑습니다, literally means because I met you, I am happy. Mana is to meet, comes from manada. Uh, the sa is the causal clause, so it's manasa because meet or because I met you. Bangapsunida comes from bangapta, means to be happy or to be glad. So because I met you, I am glad. Bangapsunida is a is a very formal uh, conjugation of bangapta. Knowing what you say is really useful, so you can start picking up patterns when you learn the language and and start using the words and expressions in a way that you know that people will understand because you understand yourself what you're saying. Okay, so take greetings. 안녕하세요. It doesn't mean hello. It means are you peaceful? Kind of strange, but 안녕 means peace. 하세요 is a conjugation of hada to do. So. Peace do? Are you doing peace? Are you peaceful? And it's a question. It's not, it's not a wish like good evening, good day. It's a question, so it would be normal to respond. Ne. Anangaseo? Ne. In English, if somebody says to you good day, you will not respond yes. That's strange. But in Korean, anangaseo is a question. So you, re you reply, you just reply. That, that's how it works. Then you just don't have to wonder, why do people say yes to hello? This makes no sense. Actually, it does if you really understand what you're saying. So, take another greeting. It's often translated as, how are you? But it literally means, did you spend your time well? Chal means well or good. And is the past tense of chineda, which means to spend time. So, did you spend your time well? And therefore, a socially accepted reply would be, yes, I spent my time well. But if you really want to ask, how are you? Would be better, because that means, how did you spend your time? And then you actually have to give a, a reply on how you spend your time. I spent my time well. So to, you cannot reply, ne because you are asked, how did you spend your time? Yes. That's not a valid response, and it makes no sense. The reason I'm making this video is that I find it really annoying when teachers will just give you a list of basic expressions with a practical translation or an expression equivalent When you are in the circumstance where you would, for example, say good evening, pronounce these sounds, but you don't really have to understand what it means. And that's just stupid. It does not help to learn the language at all. <laughs>